everybody it's Mark here so the process of making maple syrup there's the good stuff to do the hard stuff to do and there's the must stuff to do the boiling part I can attribute it like if I say it's like painting a car you see all them guys in the shop sanding and bumping and grinding and welding and fixing everything, making it all perfect. And then they push it in the booth and here comes Johnny, the three bald man with his, in his hand and his paint gun. And he gets all the fun. So that's the boiling pot. Down here in the trenches is where it really happens because if you don't get it from the trees then you really can't do it this is another slapped up shack this is the sap shack now we're connected to trees from here to there Now you might see some that don't look that big. Well, we're not tapping them. Now, these valves here have been open all night. Right now, they're open. This line here goes a thousand feet times four in four different directions. This line here goes 1,500 feet and then it splits off for another 400 feet. Now I'm 30 feet lower down here because I'm down by the wall, stone wall, that's the outskirts of the marsh. That puts me at the lowest point on the property. I'm at 346 feet above sea level. Right here. Now in here is the bench. Now this line has been we didn't have the pump running all night because we don't want anything to happen to that pump in the freeze up. If it takes a bite of ice, it'll blow the bottom out. Well, she's trying to trying to do something. I'm gonna make sure that this thing is in there. Very difficult <laughs> move around in here. Okay. So here we are now. I put this clear tube. This clear tube is what you see. This is called a vacuum tube product that's used in the dairy milking parlors. You ever see milk going up a line and you can see that it's milk? It's in one of these tubes. They call it a sight glass but I use it over here for my sight glass. It gives me an indication that yeah liquid is liquid and it's coming it's being whacked out of the woods by the guzzler pump which is a diaphragm anybody who knows anything about diaphragms pumps this one here 
is out of its case. All right, not fooling around. Time to get the show on the road. Switch on. Everybody wants to know how you get so much sap, Mark. We let the little fella do it. We call him the guzzler. Chugging right along. a while. You got the valve. Sometimes you gotta this this pump is not only a pump, it's a vacuum pump. So what it does is it evacuates oxygen inside a closed tube and creates vacuum. They say this pump can get you 22 inch pounds. Hey I don't know if I'm if I'm at 18 pretty much what I got on the dually. When I got 18 on my jets, call it good. Anything over 18, gravity's 29 inch pounds. So once you start defi defying gravity, you gotta have a vein pump. The little guzzler, he's not gonna do that. Without tapping the tree and pulling on the sap, this gravity that's holding the water on the ground at 29 inch pounds, the tree has a process and the ability to defy gravity and pull water up 70, 80 to 120 feet to move water to the top of the tree to promote growth of the leaves. Now the tree has its own natural ability to do that. When we drill a hole into the tree around four feet to six feet from the ground and we add 18 inch pounds to the 29 that exist, gravity, we're capable of developing enough suction to get sap down into the tank to make maple syrup and call it a day. <laughs> you know? So after fooling around with gravity and sap for the month and a half that I do every year, I always have this overwhelming desire to hook a vacuum gauge to a V8 and start mucking around with it and get the winter out of it and turning it for the summer. It's going to be kind of tricky to do that these days because there's not going to be any uh, 110 octane to play with unless the customers know what we're going to do with the money they don't mind paying the extra when we charge them hard
go shut that one off on that side. Yeah, that's why I got this tube wired to the frame there because sometimes she jumps ugly. <laughs> I'm just having coffee this morning. Talking them out. Zolinski. Hello, Zolinski. So we just turn the pump on. Takes a little while for it to correct itself. It evacuates a line, gets to a T, and then it goes further up. It takes about a half an hour for this pump to evacuate the oxygen in a line. Because it's fighting liquid. The liquid's blocking the uh, removal of the air to the farthest points of the territory. The transfer line looks like it's sagging. We'll have to get a I'll have to tighten it up a little bit. It goes to the shack. So we get it sent up to us automatic. 
So we start the day when we know it's available, when the trees are running. Come down here and we turn the little guy on. Just let him do his thing. Uh, we're going to go start a fire and get the boiling. Talk to you later.